everybody. I want to talk about that documentary called Taken at Birth. It's a true documentary, a three-part, that talks about the Hicks Clinic way back when in a town. I don't remember where it's located, so you'll have to read the bio on it. But basically, the Hicks Clinic was open to help young women, normally unwed, who became pregnant and wanted to terminate their pregnancies, but instead Dr. Hicks convinced these women to carry their babies to a certain term, which meant the term would be a viable age. He told these young women that he had families for these babies, and that I think in the end he gave them about 20 to $50 a new dress and said thanks for your service and released them to their own accord. It is probably one of the most fascinating and heart-wrenching documentaries I've ever seen in my life. I still want to cry to this day because what he did, in fact, was he learned his son, his own son, and his son's wife could not conceive. And he knew that the young women that came in would give him babies. He would be able to farm them out. And that's when he started the practice of allowing these babies to be taken at birth and rehomed with another family who paid a thousand dollars for a baby who were so desperate for these children. But in the midst of all of that, what he did was he forged the birth certificate and put the adoptive parent's name on the birth certificate and wiped the slate clean, wiped away the birth parents. And it became this whole big cover up. You have to watch it. It is one of the most fascinating documentaries. I can't, I can't believe I said this. I've probably repeated myself, but I feel when it comes to estrangement, when we have children and grandchildren, that our own children are wiping the slate clean and they're changing their birth certificates and they're making their parents non-existent, their biological parents non-existent. And they are lying and covering up. They are telling their grandchildren that either someone else is their parent, maybe their grandparent or natural born bio biological parent has passed away and they are no longer in existence. And not only that, our siblings, aunts and uncles, the grandparents, are covering up. It is a big, huge cover-up. So everyone involved with your estranged son or daughter is covering up the truth about your existence. I have siblings that are, have relationships with my estranged adult daughters and my, my grandchildren. And there's a big, huge cover-up. I don't think my grandchildren, I don't know what they've been told because they're all under the age of 10, but I was told recently, informed through a, a friend her, when my children were young, that my daughter's telling people that I passed away within this past year from a heart attack. It might have been possibly at that time from a broken heart, <laughs> but I certainly didn't have a heart attack and I'm certainly not dead, but it's a shame that my children have wiped their birth certificates clean, have replaced me with other people, and that other people are involved in this situation. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't control what my sisters do, what, my, what the other people in my family are doing. I can't, I can't control it. There's nothing I can do. They can all live by this narrative. But one day, the truth is going to come out. That maybe they'll do a 23 and me. And they'll find out they had a grandma, and they'll ask my daughter, why, why? They'll ask everybody involved, why? <laughs> why did you cover up? They'll have to, all, all of the people involved will have to answer. My daughter's in-laws, her husband, everyone will have to answer those questions. So all I'm saying is my job is to let it go. As hard as it is to let it go, I'm going to remain erased. I know plenty of other people who love me and if you haven't seen that documentary watch it because it is amazing so anyways that's all i've got to say and i'll be back